As with most sites associated with events from biblical times, here in modern day Jerusalem, a building now sits on the traditional site of the Last Supper. It was during the Last Supper that the Savior said to his disciples, Do ye inquire among yourselves of that I said, A little while and ye shall not see me, and again a little while and ye shall see me. Verily, verily, I say unto you that ye shall weep and lament, but the world shall rejoice, and ye shall be sorrowful, for your sorrow shall be turned into joy. As I stand here thinking about that event, and looking towards the Mount of Olives in the Garden of Gethsemane, I can't help but think that perhaps the Savior had a view of that very garden, and the beginning of his atoning sacrifice may have been on the forefront of his mind. We see within this text that he foreshadows what he was foreordained to do, to come and die for us, that we might live. I, like the ancient disciples, would have sorrowed at seeing my Savior and Redeemer dying for me. But as the Savior promised in that verse, it's because of that death that I can have everlasting joy.